Chapter 6 Amiya Helps the Slide Have you ever helped anyone? How did you feel after helping him or her? Can you think of helping non-living things? Let us read the story to know how Amiya helps the slide. Amiya and her mother are going to the park. Amiya is on her bicycle. Her blue bag is on her shoulders. It has many of Amiya's favorite things. Paper, crayons, glue and pencil. Amiya is very happy. She loves going to the park. She loves the merry-go-round, the swings. And most of all, the big, wonderful silver slide. Her mother also enjoys these outings. She likes to relax and talk to the other mothers she meets there. Sometimes she carries a book to read or does some knitting. They reach the park. Her mother sits on a bench. Amiya runs to the silver slide. She takes many trips on it. On her tenth trip, she hears a strange sound. What's that? she asks, jumping off the ends of the slide. Oh, thank you, comes the answer. Who said that? Amiya asks, looking all around. I did. It is the slide speaking. Two very sad eyes are looking at her. My back aches very badly today, says the slide. Amiya rubs her eyes. Is this really happening? Excuse me, she says. Did you speak to me? Yes, I did. Says the slide. I'm sorry if I scared you. But I am really tired today. Each and every child jumps on me and races down my back. I am now old and not as strong as before. Can you help me, Amiya? With this, the poor old slide starts crying. Amiya feels very sad for the slide. She thinks for two minutes. Then she gets a brilliant idea. She runs to her bag and brings out some paper and crayons. She writes something and then sticks it on the slide with her glue. Don't worry, slide. Now you will get the rest you need says Amiya. She runs off happily to her mother. The slide smiles happily. It knows no one would sit on it now. Amiya has written on the paper, wet paint. <laughs>